Hi everyone, I'm Eleanor. I'm Gertie. And we're from the Roy Suitcase. Um, thank you for joining us again today. So today we're starting a brand new project. This is a old, um, I think it was a filing cabinet or something, right? I don't know. But it's um, made out of chipboard and laminated veneer over it. So it's not a very expensive item. Expensive item. It's not very sturdy. Um, it's been probably been painted about 40 million times. So we're going to paint it again. So there's a couple of new things that we wanted to show you that we've got open and, and having, happening today. I just want to open you on the phone so that I can actually respond to your questions. So let's just... Oh, this thing is so slow today. Let's just do this. Are you taking off your clothes more? No, I just... <laughs> All right, so... Nice and cold. It's warm here, yeah, but it's cold outside. All right. Hello, Nunu. Hello, Judith. Okay. I've got you guys here now. So, the things I wanted to show you today, I'm like a, a child in a toy store today, is I've got some new water slide trance, oh, um, hocus I got them in on Friday. And this one, this is quite a big one. I'll open it now and show you guys. And then this one, which I also got on Friday. So I'm going to open them up so that you can have a look. Because they're quite big. Are you going to hold the one side, Mom? Yeah, sure. So it comes in this little tube and you roll the transfer out. It comes with a little step-by-step -step applicator and it's got the instructions inside. And this one is quite big. Do you want to hold that side, Mom? You got it? You got it? I just left it up. As this you can feel And here's your instruction page on how to do page. it. Your side. Yes. So these are the ones oh, that you lovely. stick up and then you start rubbing them with the little wooden stick and then they come off on your item. So don't know if I'm going to use this one or no, not. I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> yes, something like that. I'll show you the others now. That's beautiful. Can you put that on I just want to roll it up again. Has it got all its goodies? You must take out the stick. Okay. Just dump the dog now. Don't put it back now. I'll show you how. <laughs> Alright. And then the other one that I've got, it's called Peony Fields. It's also quite a big one. Hi, Leticia. Yeah, no, no, they are beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Also comes with the stick, comes with the instructions. Are you taking that side? Yeah. Okay, brace yourself, ladies. Oh, this is also beautiful. This is the Peony Fields. And this is the one that I've got planned for this cabinet. So must we roll it up? Yes, we must not be Wait, I'll roll for my side. They are 88 centimeters by 59 centimeters, the big ones. Are you putting that um, on the front of the doors? That's what we put it in because you drop it too quickly. Okay. And your little stick goes with it. All right. And this one is called um, 
temps, temps for time. That's the French for time. So let's see how this one looks. We've got sticky tape on the edges. So I'm just taking off the sticky to take it off. There we go. Stick it inside. So this is a smaller one. This one is 28 centimeters by 37 centimeters. Oh, that's beautiful. I hope you guys can Hi. see. I actually thought of using this and actually putting um, a clock mechanism inside. Yes. I think that would be very precious. Are we making clocks again? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, got, we saw it for clocks for a while. All right. So let's put that in. The instructions are still in there. Are the new um, Hocus Pocus rub on transfers? <laughs> Juliana, your parcel is going to get bigger. <laughs> All right, Janine. And something else that I got was, and this is what I wanted to show you today. It's called Would You Bend. It's actually wood. And it's got nice little patterns on the side. And you unroll it by heating it up with a hairdryer. And then you can put it as a trim around your little cassie. So that's what I want to play with today if we can. If we've got time. And there's, I think, 2.2 meters on a roll like these. And then it looks like an embellishment. But it's just a long trip. So I want to play with these. Are we starting with the top first? No, no. I think um, let's start on the side. What we've done is we've mixed some um, Mood of Neptune with some Chantilly lace to get a lighter blue. And that's what we're going to be painting with today. Do you want to give me your bucky? So that I can see the color. It's actually quite a nice light blue color. Um, I might, might need to give you some more. But I would first need you to help me with the witch events. Because it's going to take two hands. Because what but you're not going to use it just yet, so yes. let's do that for later. No, we're going to do that do you, now. Are you doing it up here? Yes. So and then you want dry. to paint it as well? Yes, well, we start at the bottom painting and then it gives it time to dry on the top. Okay. All right. So, so you're putting it up here? Yes, and I'm using normal wood glue. So today is going to be a funny day. We haven't done this before. Hopefully it will be better than the pouring. I don't know. The pouring was actually a huge success. Renee, um, I will uh, speak to you after our video. I replied to all the comments and so then I'll give you details about it. So let's see how it works because it's something new for us as well. So, what does it say? Is it made of wood? Yes, it's made out of wood. Okay. But you shouldn't try and unroll it like that. You should first heat it up. So I want to see, we're going to make some noise with the hairdryer. So don't run With away. The microwave not. No, it needs to be a hairdryer. So what they say is you first need to heat it up. Let's get this that side. No, we're going to start on this side. But I first want to see what happens when I try and unroll it. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> and I'm going to start heating up my my rolliki. Thank you for Tweety. Ariana. Hello, so we're going to tune to that. Oh, and it starts bending. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. No, it's just very hot. I think it's a and it actually becomes flexible. Oh, I've got it. Let's do that piece first. But I think you couldn't. Yes. 
So I need to heat it up so it's not good. the other piece on that side. Have you got enough to go right around? Yeah, there should be enough because there's over two meters. All right, so now we're glue. So I turn the piece, it actually becomes straight. I just maybe want to loop it up. It's much lighter than wood, so um, it's not heavy like wood is. Okay, somewhere we have some masking tape. I'm just applying normal wood glue to this. Yeah, uh, the thinner one. Yeah, okay, anything. Or the thicker one. Anything you do. And then I say you put it on to your item, just hold it at the top, and then you heat it up again. So let's see if we can do this. I haven't done this on a live yet. Let's see if I can comment. No, it doesn't allow me to add a picture. But I'll post the picture of it now, now, when we're done. I'm going to do the top section now, so maybe you guys will see a bit better then. Or, Mom, we just need to turn it, maybe. We try and turn it. We to Just around. No, it's not going to work. Okay. So, I've taken some photos. I'll post them, Nana, and then you guys can have a look. 
We're now going to do the top section. And I actually think if we put the glue on, on our item, it's going to work a bit better. Because then we don't have a thingy rolling around under the edge of it. Oh, it's called a... Would You Bends. This is what we've got left now after we put this trim on. Um, but even if it breaks, you'll be able to stick it next to each yeah. other once you painted it. It looks like it's together. Yes. All right, so I'm going to start blowing on this side. If you can maybe just hold that piece, but it will bend on its own. Judith, you can make some food again. Let's just turn it around so that we use this. He made, um, it was uh, beef. Yeah, beef blocks. I can't goulash. Use. Yeah, beef um, goulash and some sand. sand. And potatoes. And potatoes. started to learn as well. <laughs> He's getting all these wonderful now. Mom, I just want to take the heat dryer over. Alright, so as you can see, it actually sticks flat. And now I'm just going to take the trim around. So even it, it can bend around an edge as well. So I'm just wiping off all the excess glue. We've just used normal wood glue. Oh, we've got an angry dog. 
to die. It's more than a pretty happy. I'm just wiping all the glue where it comes out on the side. I might have over glued it a bit. <laughs> Next time I won't use so much. And it's actually stuck already. It's, it's not a nice thing out and it's giving it a nice um, look to, to an old yakikasi. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to do this portion. I'm not going to do it the back. So um, I'm going to do this portion, then I'm going to fill in the gap on that side. So I just want to get the glue down first, Mom. <coughs> Don't pull it too much. So even if you've got something that's got an ugly edge like this is a... Um, a super wood cabinet with a near on and it's actually pulling apart and it's looking really chippy and ugly you can do this to actually hide that ugliness okay Up to the side, I just want to get a scissor. So now I'm going to cut it with a scissor. The moment I can find one in this place, we have that. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, so I'm cutting it now with a scissor, oh, and it cuts like a dream. <laughs> it's such a clever product. Okay. And you see, yeah, I've just bended around the edge. And I think we would just need to put a bit of uh, masking tape there so it just holds it in place. Someone's saying something. Hi, Stella. Aunt Eta was lekker. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Annette. Yes, you've sent us all your cold weather, Annette. We're experiencing the same at the moment. Well, I say by tomorrow it'll be freezing. Okay, so just for your info, we're uh, working with... about the edge here? It's done. We're just taping it with a bit of masking tape. Just to hold it in place while our wood glue dries. But as you can see, it's created quite a nice little edge around this old... Cassie, this is Would You Bend. It's so um, pass you the hair dry again, that's yes, it's wood and you can mold and bend around your items. 
please note, this is not a replacement for embellishments. This is just to give your piece another dimension, maybe some edging. These are the embellishments we've used from Rustic Bling, and I think the two complement very well. So it's not going to necessarily replace embellishments, but I think it gives a nice trim on your, on your pieces. And it's flexible, that's what I like about it. It must be do with it that you rush to get to us. <laughs> it does give you, Hi, Veronica, the effect of embellishments because it bends. Yeah, it bends. So, okay, so now what we need to do is we just need to get a little bit of glue here, and then we can do the Let's last piece. I can put that. So. And my lapis. Okay, so remember the first piece we did, I broke it. So now I'm just going to fill in the gap. I think you mustn't pull on it while you're heating it up. You need to actually um, let it roll open on its own. I'm just applying a little bit of wood glue. And Mom, you're going to blow for us. unrolled this last bit of the piece so I'm just going to stick it down and while we stick it down we're going to heat it up again okay mama Like I said, this was um, a 2.1 meter roll, and this is what I've got left. A meter of bitterly cold PE. Yeah. <laughs> I told her, she said, that's all the cold weather. All right, so I'm just taking off the glues on the sides, and you can sand this, and you can drill holes, holes through them. So, because it, it reacts like wood, it is wood. So, yeah, it's an, a little piece of stuff for the bottom. It's very clever, and actually. At the bottom now. <laughs> so, this one is where did I hear? Hibola. Can you see more of the glue? It's not easy. Okay. All right. And a bottom piece. So, this will just stay in place until the wood glue is dried. It's actually dried already on the top, yeah. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's quite a nifty little pro product to use, especially for these ugly cabinets that's got chip wood and laminate the veneer that's peeling off. So it's actually quite ingenious. <coughs> Hi Anita, we used um, wood you bends, the wood uh, moldings. Let me show. 
and you warm it up with your hair dryer. It needs the heat to, to unroll, so you do need to warm it up with your hair dryer and, or a heat gun, but I think a heat gun is much hotter than a hair dryer. And that's awesome, it's in place. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start painting our cabinet from the bottom. This is the bottom where the feet are upwards and by the time we get to the top we should be um a bit dry i'm just trying to get this thing a bit straight because i've blocked it wrong so we've mixed some um mood of neptune with some chantilly lace we've got a nice light blue color that we're going to be using on our cabinet and we'll be spraying again with our um, water mist. <laughs> yes, just to blend in. So yeah, here we go. Are you ready, Mo? Yes. Okay. Have you got I your mist to do first? No, you've done it so many times. I'm a bit overheating now. And my slight bit of sicker off course. So you better go back. Pull up the sleeves. I've got this white jersey on again. All right. Why are you here? You paint beautifully on your own. All right, so I just missed it a little bit. I'm going to paint at the top so that you can have a better view. So I'm just misting it just to help the paint smooth out. Do we this, start at the top now? Yes, I've also got makes no difference. I'm showing you the top. That is just so that our paint can blue. Uh, blend on quick because this is going to be our very first layer. We are going to do multiple layers on this cabinet. What are you looking for? You must paint now. I'm not painting over my beautiful stencil. And uh, what about the embellishment? I'm painting over that too. Like so. Like. Totally so. Hi, Surita. Surita is at the top of the van of the top I'm just going through into the embellishment, making sure that I'm reaching the back piece of the cabinet behind so the embellishment. Yes, that's perfect. We are planning to do a transfer on this front piece. So um, I'm really not too worried about the stenciled area. Um, this cabinet is really a, of a terrible move from the shop to here. So um, it's taken some dents. But I want to use it as a filing cabinet and um, I'm definitely not going to use it the way it is, so I'm painting it. Is that side covered well? Yeah, I think it's just because my, we're just getting on the first coat. We're still going to be doing a lot of blending and layering later on. So you guys won't see, uh, we'll only come back to the second layer tomorrow once it's dried. Oh, am I painting over here? Yes, you paint over everything. Do I spray this wood? No. Because the glue is still a bit wet. I'm painting over everything, the hardware, the wood. The wood you bends that we just put on, they are in place at the top, but I don't be careful your jersey is smearing. And I'm really not too worried that it needs to be painted in a certain direction because I know for sure that we're going to be doing more layers. So I'm really just getting it on and working into my molding. You will actually now see the effect that it has on the on the cabinet as well once you start painting it. So 
as I said, this is really an old, yucky, veneer pressed wood cabinet. And this is the third piece that I'm doing in my um, living room. So it's all going blue, light blues. So this is the third piece in the living room. I posted one, sure, I think about two months ago, or right when the lockdown started. That was piece number one. I'm busy with piece number two, and this is piece number three. So it's going to be a three-part cabinet. Okay, and then I'm going in here. Just misting it just to blend my paint. It goes quick, and it's the first layer. Don't you think these stuff are awesome? These wood Yes. I think they're freaking awesome. I've always looked for these half rounds with these patterns on to do on edges and I could never find. So this so is a very good... So if you I'm taking this masking tape off. Um, I think start at the bottom. It just gives it a bit more time just to dry. So I think this is a good answer for half round on edging that you want to have done. Not too much water in mine. And I will paint the back, but the back won't get molding on. Because it will be standing flush against the wall. Are you dead, fun style? You missed the part of the wood you bends. You must rewind. Okay. And that is really how quick it is to get one coat on. Um, we will do the top now. Just a minute, um, I'm still busy on the side. Yes, I'm busy on the side too. I'm going to take the masking tape off here. And as you can see, the molds are I mean, that's been like five or ten minutes. And I think the um, heating up the glue also helps a bit with the adhesion. I'm going to move this glue because I'm now going to paint with glue if I don't close this bottle and move it. And the masking tap. This is the piece we've got left of the wood you bend. It has a roll of 2.1 meter on and it comes in different sizes and patterns and widths. Right. So let's just get some color on here. Yeah? Yeah, sorry, I've been busy with my 11 thugs. <laughs> yeah, they keep you busy. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to do this project with my mom because normally she will just tell me paint it on your own. No, no, no. But now me. today she can't say no, that. No, no, no. I've painted a few cupboards for you. I know you haven't. Yes. Remember that one three draw thing? Mom painted in dark grey. <laughs> then the next morning mom painted in white. Then I said no, no, no. <laughs> Are we spraying? Uh, the top. Oh, but you don't want to wait for me. <laughs> he might go if no dog. Did you take your masking tape off? Yes. As you can see, it actually looks like a, a vintage cupboard now. And honestly, if you look at the surface, you'll see this chip veneer and um, <coughs> what do they call this? Super wood. And so it isn't in a good condition. It just needs make over but I can't go and fill all these holes and try and put new wood on so 
It's going to be part of the character and charm of this piece. Where the other pieces are... Although you had somebody that wanted to buy it. Yeah, but like it was too late. <laughs> too late now. It's now been claimed by myself. Alright, so I'm happy that I've got a good cut on. Right, Ma, you wanted to do that side. So get a friend to paint with you, Trudy and Michelle. Go paint together. It goes so much quicker. <laughs> Michelle's little bird, Tweety, is also painting with her. Mm -hmm. And he gets out of his cage and he sits where she paints. <laughs> it looks like my quirky. <laughs> And you can see I keep on changing direction, so there's no right or wrong. This is my base cut. I'm not too worried about the direction on this. So even if it's crisscross, it's still fine. Um, we've got an awesome new stencil that's going to go on top here. Yeah? So um, looking forward to that one. Is it it? That was quick when it's two, right? Eh? When it's two, it goes very quick. Just want to make sure that we've got... I actually like the color. Yes, but we're going to be adding some depth to that. But now we've wasted all this paint, where must we put it? We're going to put it back into the bottle, because we've saved it, because I don't want to mix a second time. There you go, my girl. I want to see how you get that in. I put the, uh, get water for the brushes. I think there is some water for the brushes. Might just check that you haven't lost any hair. Because that's one thing I don't like. I just want to give it this looks like a piece of paper that you've put over here. Now that's that um, border lace, floor lace thing. So. I don't know where this cabinet came from, but I think someone painted it and then we painted it twice already it must have been painted before I'm happy with that what do you think what's your comments I'm gonna That's um good. take the camera and bring you in onto the would you bend just bear in mind that some places it's still a bit wet so it will now adhere to the piece and then you guys can actually see what a big difference it makes and I've um join two pieces on the side and you can't see that so I'm gonna bring it down and show you and then you tell me what you think hi Peter Deal hi Mariki all right so let's try this I hope you don't fall off so just hang on it might be a bumpy ride okay let's go all right I'm hoping you guys can see the trim. And we've bended it nicely around the edge here. Uh, oh, where's the edge? There we go. So we've bended it nicely around the edge and it continues. Bottom. I think it's putting, yeah, uh, no, it's fine. That's not putting. All right, and then let me show you the other side. So, there we go. You can see the chip marks from the um, veneer that's pulling away. So, it's really a decrepit little piece. So, there you can see, and you can actually not see where the where did I actually, I think it was somewhere there, yes. There. But I think once you've painted it, you can't see. So this has got a first coat on and I'm actually quite happy with this little edge. So yeah, just to show you how the cabinet looks like. It's 
So now you're seeing it the right way around. Okay, so I'm going to try and take you back slowly, 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 slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And I think I've just broken this. No, you haven't. Put, no, 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 put it at the back. Put your little leg at the back. Right, let's see if you guys can still see. Can't see now. Okay, I'm 15 seconds behind. Yes, Judith, I like that edging. Uh, Michelle, no, I'll I'll stop them so Are you we won't right? get them. Yeah, I think we, we should be okay. But I will give you the details of that a little bit later on. If you guys are okay with that. Alright, so is that our time? Let's see, 45. And we've painted. Alright. Right. We're going to let it stand now. And then tomorrow we'll start doing our second layer. Because I want this cut to sink in nicely. Are we doing the same colour? Yes, and we're oh. working in with my favourite dark blue that you've seen so many times. We'll be working with those again. The reason we're working with the dark blue is because my living room has got that dark blue, so you'll be seeing a lot of it. So yeah, then we will continue on a second coat tomorrow, no more. Um, so if everything goes well, we will see you tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Anything you want to say to the people? Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening. Stay warm. Bye-bye.